Brief DVMs coming at you today with a little bit of dream tank trouble that we ran into here just recently. So we woke up the other morning <laughs> and the tank looked like a disaster had hit it. Um, wow. Monty corals had dead and turned brown overnight. Um, different types of cactus corals just look like crap with tissue necrosis on top of them. You know, some of the mushrooms were alive, but puckered real funny. The The tongue coral was showing some weird green algae on one side of it. The Duncans, you know, one whole colony completely wiped out dead. Another colony pulled back in. Just really not looking good. And, you know, honestly, we, we weren't sure what happened. It happened literally overnight. Um, You know, it just just not good. It's just tissue necrosis on coral left and right. And we're missing a chromis. Um, it just, you could tell something was wrong. So immediately we pulled out the HANA tests, started testing things. pH was on, calcium, magnesium was on, um, no, no, no uh, nitrates and nitrites, uh, doing real well there. Um, started looking at other things, uh, checked the temperature of the tank with both probes, make sure they hadn't gone bad. And we really weren't able to, to kind of figure it out upstairs. Um, you know, it was, Water felt a little odd upstairs, um, you know, maybe to the touch, maybe just a tish tingly or something, but we really didn't pick up on it. Then we went downstairs um, into the sump, and wow, uh, what a dangerous thing we had. Uh, literally, my wife stuck her fingers in it, and she got shocked big time. Um, our whole setup is on GFI systems or GCFI um, uh, outlets, but that didn't stop this problem. As you can see, I took a voltmeter and I stuck it in the water. And particularly down in the sump, we are running some major volts. Um, you know, we're putting out about 50, you know, so this is not cool. We had to start shutting down equipment to figuring out what was actually causing it. And what we found out is that our reactor um, that we're using there for um, from Vertex, the pump must have just failed somehow internally and it was letting electricity into the system. So immediate call up to... Uh, Ryan over at Bulk Reef Supply, an immediate call out to Vertex and try to see if we can figure this out. And obviously we unplugged the pump um, and uh, noted also that the, the skimmer pump was putting out just a tish, uh, about maybe one volt. Um, so Vertex said they'd send us out a new pump um, for the skimmer, but the um, uh, other pump that we were using for the um, bio pellets isn't really made anymore. They make it a little differently. So we had to make a change on that one, so in talking um, with Bulk Reef Supply, they sent us out a, a reef octopus right away, like within a day. So we changed out our bio pellet system. So here it is. This is the um, reef octopus, uh, basically circulator for bio pellets. Comes with a nice pump, and it's pretty easy to assemble. So uh, once we had uh, both the, the skimmer unplugged and the uh, bio pellets unplugged, um, we tested the tank, and of course there's no electricity in it. So we started the recouping process. Um, again, Vertex is sending us a free pump for the Omega. So obviously that'll go in. And um, we're going to get this uh, new bio pellet reactor going as quickly as we can um, from uh, Reef Octopus. I'm actually quite pleased with it. I, th I think this is actually going to be better than what we had. Um, obviously very alarming that my wife stuck her fingers in there and got shocked. Um, we expressed our... A little bit of disconcern to Vertex, but they really came through for us. They they really explained that, you know, we should have probably had up a better ground system um, and been more ready for this, and we weren't. So that was kind of our bad. But here's the interesting part. Vertex, along with sending the pump for the skimmer, the Omega skimmer, a brand new one, they threw in a grounding rod. So that was really nice. So we're going to put it on and test it out. One of the ways to test the grounding rod was to uh, put the old... Um, pump back in the water make it electrify for just a few minutes so we could see if it really worked and it did um, it actually took the electrical current right out of the water um, and made it safe to contact again so obviously big learning lesson here I've known about grounding rods in aquariums for years and I've kind of poo-pooed it I mean I've been reefing for over 20 years and never ever had this situation so I guess I just never really invested in it and that was my bad um, I learned the lesson the hard way. I hope some of you other folks won't for literally a $10 little rod that plugs into an outlet with a with a grounding cord, you know. <clears throat> so we switched the bio pellets over to the new reactor, um, same quantity that we had 
in the past. Uh, we didn't change anything out. This is the exact same bio pellets that were in the other reactor. Put the whole setup together and then basically into the tank we're going to go with this. We lost a lot of coral, um, which is unfortunate, and that was very frustrating. But, you know, we got this thing going, and the minute we got it going, we realized it went ape. Um, it really, 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 really circulates bio pellets. And I certainly didn't want that. I really like just a little bit of a low tumble. Um, so I really had to get this thing dialed down quickly. And as you can see, my hands are in the tank because there's no electricity in it. Um, one of the ways, by the way, to, to test your tank if it does um, have any electrical activity in it would be to take the negative from a handheld uh, multimeter put it on the volt setting, put the negative into the little circle of, you know, the American uh, ground outlet, and then put the positive into the water and see if you read anything. Um, a multi-tool is, you know, a multimeter tool is a very good thing to have, especially if you're um, doing aquarium work. But uh, once I get this thing dialed in and I get it the way I want it, um, it's a pretty, pretty easy device to work with. So, so far the reef octopus you know, bio pellet reactor is, is working great. Um, and like I said, that was um, the, the pump on the bottom had apparently somehow gone bad. It was leaking electricity and it didn't take me too long to get all this changed out. I'd say maybe about 30, 40 minutes and I had everything back up and running. And then of course now we're starting to recruit by cleaning off the dead coral, getting some of the bleach stuff um, and certainly we'll invest in some more coral in the next month or two. It's, it's a sad deal, but yet it's my own learning experience. It's my own fault. Um, I should have put a grounding rod in. As far as the grounding rod, this is what Vertex sent us. Again, free of charge. Titanium ground pole. Um, I did have to pay for the pump for the Omega, and uh, they were very nice. But they sent me this, and they said that they'd do it just because they wanted me to be safe. And um, I just I really appreciate that, Vertex. That's, a, that's just a bang-up job. I, I appreciate you doing that. So... It's not too hard to install. I, I routed it into the back of the tank. Um, I found a, a plug that was open um, in the electrical system, and it, it basically um, looks like a standard plug, but obviously it's two pieces of plastic and a, and a copper end that goes in the grounding rod section. And then on the other end, there's just a titanium little rod that you stick into the water. You wouldn't think this makes that much of a difference, but it, it really does. It's, it's amazing. Uh, the minute I stuck this little device in the water, boom, the... Uh, the uh, electricity was uh, down. I mean, um, it's just, it's quite impressive as to how this little device works. Um, electricity goes right up that titanium rod into your outlet, um, which has its ground plug connected to it. And your house is obviously grounded, you know, out it goes. So again, I've got the, you know, ground fault, you know, interrupted circuit outlets on this whole system. But um, this is still a good thing to invest in. Took the multimeter, stuck it back in the water doesn't even read a thing. And like I said, I actually put the old pump back in the water for a minute or two and turned it back on just to see if I could tell a difference. And when that um, grounding rod is plugged in, um, it takes that stray voltage right away, which is which is a good thing. Obviously, at times, you probably want to take out the um, grounding rod and test your water to make sure you don't have stray voltage. That'd be a good thing. I learned firsthand, folks. Um, learning lesson, don't like electricity in a tank. Thanks for watching. Please like or subscribe. We'll put out more videos like this and hopefully um, we'll have some new videos in the next couple months of some new coral going in after we kind of get through the repair process and let some of the coral regenerate itself from the damage that was caused. Thanks for watching, folks.